Hello and welcome to another tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. I just wanted to show you a couple of functions that are related to the IF function that I think you might find useful. Certainly if you're doing tests at school this may well come up. Um, those two functions are the count if function and the sum if function. Do slightly different things but um, I'll go through them here and hopefully explain what they do. As you can see I've got my original Fred's Video Classic spreadsheet up here and what I would like to have happen is I've got a couple of uh, new labels down here and I'm interested in any film that goes above 12 rentals and I've got two boxes here I want results to go in. One of them will simply tell me how many films have got, gone above 12 rentals and the other box will tell me how much money those films have made. For example, I've got The Godfather there at 18 rentals and that's generated £35.10. OK, so if, if that was the only one that had gone above 12, then 18 would go into the total cell and £35.10 would go into the revenue cell. Obviously I've got three that have gone above 12 here and what I would like to have happen in the revenue cell is these values adding up. So every time it finds a match for anything above 12 it adds the income for that film to my revenue total down below. It'll make more sense when I put these uh, formulas together. Okay so we'll do the first one, the count if, which will simply count how many films have gone above 12 rentals. So the function is equals count if and now if you're using a version of Excel 2002 or above as soon as you type the open bracket you'll get the uh, little help dialog there or help box tooltip I think they call it and it simply there asks me for the range that I'm interested in and the range of cells is C3 down to C8 in other words the values that contain the rental numbers or the cells that contain the rental values would make more sense Okay, uh, type a comma to separate the range from the criteria and obviously all I'm going to do is here is type in greater than 12 but the important thing is I have to put it between quotes and type open quote greater than 12 close quote if I don't do that Excel will throw up an error message I'm going to close the bracket and click on the tick and we get the correct result which is 3 okay so that's all it is if you look at the formula bar equals count if open bracket the range where the values that you're interested in are and the second part after the comma is the criteria is it equal to a value less than a value greater than a value etc you can also match it to pieces of text for example I could be looking for um, the name Fred in a list of names for instance so you, you can use all sorts of different criteria in the revenue cell then coming back to uh, C17 I want to actually add up what those three movies have made me so I'm going to type in equals sum if in other words sum up some numbers if those numbers meet just reach a certain criteria or match a certain criteria so I've got three items you'll see on my tooltip I want it wants the range the criteria and then the sum range so the range is the same as previously which is the rental values type a comma the criteria again greater than 12 so between quotation marks greater than 12 comma again and finally the sum range the sum range can actually be the same range of cells that, that I had initially selected but in this case I want to look at the income values okay so any time a rental value goes above 12 I want it to add up the corresponding cell in the income column okay close the bracket because that completes the function click on the tick and we get the revenue 105 pounds 30 now I can obviously test that by manually adding things up or I can check it's working by maybe changing one of the values here so I'm going to move citizen came from 12 to 13 and if you take a look at those two new result cells you to see them jump up when I press the enter key and my total rental or total movies goes to four and the revenue goes to £124.80 
which indicates that the functions are working. Okay, now I'm going to delete those out and I'm going to redo them by using the paste function feature. Um, now in Excel 2002 you can either click on the drop down arrow where the sum button is and go to more functions or you can go to the insert menu and choose function which I'm going to do here. And I'm looking for the count if function. Now it happens to be in the statistical functions which I'm in now so I'm going to scroll down to get the count if. We've got count a, count blank, count if, there we are and click OK and again it's asking me for the two bits of information, the range and the criteria. The range is the cells in the C column there, C3 down to C8 and the criteria is greater than 12. Now if you use the paste function dialog you don't need to type in the quotes Excel will put those in for you automatically. So those are the two bits of the function. When I click OK, it brings me back the correct value, which is 4. And if you look at the formula bar, you'll see that Excel has put in the quotation marks before and after the greater than 12 bit. OK, I'll do the same thing on the revenue. So click where I want the result to go. and go into Insert Function. And this time, Let's say I've got no idea where this function is in this list. I happen to know it's actually in the um, the maths and trigonometry section. However, imagine you didn't know that. You can simply type in the function name, sum if, click go, and Excel will find the function for you, which is pretty useful, especially given that Excel has hundreds of different functions built into it. So click OK there. We get the dialog, and now it's asking for three bits of information. The range, again, you'll know is the same range we've selected previously in the rentals column. The criteria we know is greater than 12 in this case. The sum range, I just need to move that dialog slightly, is in the income column, B3 to B8. And it actually, as you know, in, in the function, the paste function dialog gives us the actual result of the formula before we click OK, just so we can test it's all right. Click OK there, and there we get the result. So that is a quick look at two very useful functions, COUNTIF and SUMIF. I uh, hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video.